Welcome to another episode of Behind the Science on Location. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. As St. Nicholas would say, we are making a product, checking it twice, and we're going to find out who's naughty or nice. Let's take a trip to the QC lab to really see just how much we check the quality of our process and product. So Ed, we have our sample from the manufacturing floor. What's next? Okay, well basically we then take it to the QC laboratory okay. and we actually submit a number of samples. Um, first step is actually to submit a sample like this in a vial like mm -hmm. this for the in-process chemical testing. And then we also take another sample and pack it into columns for the customer use test, which is our chromatographic batch test process. Right. How many QC tests do we do for each product? Oh, we do many of these. And to discuss that, we need to go to the whiteboard. Sounds good. Let's go. OK, now what you have here is actually a series of steps to manufacture our bulk materials. And we QC test each step of the way. Just for a few examples, um, for the particle formation process, we measure surface area pore size and pore volume. At the size level, we take a particle size distribution measurement, that's via culture analysis. And at the bonded level, we actually run percent carbon and pack that into a column um, for cr the chromatographic batch test. A product such as our Acuity product line, which is nine manufacturing steps, it takes 30 QC tests along with 300 QC response factors. Ed, that's a lot of data. What do we do with all that data? Well, I suspect we need to talk to another person. I know exactly who you need to talk to. So let's go. Let's go. Hey, Ian Tang Sono, how are you? Oh, Good. Dr. Grover. You know Jen? Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi. How are you? Thanks for having us in here. We were actually just next door, and Ed was talking about all the different QC tests. What do you do with all that data? So after completion of all the QC test data for the in-process as well as for chromatography tests, mm -hmm. we do the final review or thorough review, peer review of the batch records and the batch test before we compile this batch record and create the certificate of analysis that goes to the customer. It's a traceability of our batch record and the batch that we are releasing from the QC lab here. I think it's just giving, showing me all the chromatography data that we just finished for this match. Right. Yeah, uh, I'm usually doing the LC test for our materials. It's like a final exam for the material in QC test. So the materials are packed in the column in the same way as we manufacture the column for our customers. Um, LC test is used to like predict and evaluate uh, the performance of the columns on our customers' end for their LC test, and we measure a bunch of uh, important parameters such as retention factor, relative retention, as well as um, peak shape. So they are all important for the LC performance. Now, Yin Ting and Sono, once you're done all the QC testing and review and QC acceptance, then you're on the, the quality assurance for the plant clearance? That's yes. correct. And it sounds like we need to visit QA next. What do you That's say? That's our next yeah. stop. Let's go. Let's go. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ed, so where are we now? And we're actually in the very last step of a long process. We've done all the manufacturing of the bulk materials. We've done all the QC testing. And we're actually at the very last step, which involves the Quality Assurance Department. Well, I think you need to speak to Linda Lungi, our QA manager. Sounds like it. Hi, Linda. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. So can you explain a little bit more about the role of QA? Sure. So Quality Assurance oversees the entire process from the design all the way through to post-market activities. Uh, this is an ISO 9001 facility, and the very last step we do in this facility is uh, what we call plant clearance, which is final release of the product. And I think Gabby, one of our quality engineers, is doing that right now. Oh, there she is. Hi, Gabby. Hello, how are you? Good. I was just about to perform some plant clearance of some new material Exciting. that we got off the line. We have our process batch record with all the process data, so I'll review that to make sure everything is all set. I will also double check the QC record with all the analytical data that we test right here to ensure the highest quality. And then, if everything is okay with the documentation, I sign off on the plant clearance and off to the customer it goes. Well, it sounds like we are good to go. I love the quote, if it is not good enough for me to use, it is not good enough for anyone else. We have shown what it takes between organization, quality systems, and technology 
and how all of these things are critical to be in place to ensure long-term reproducibility of our bulk materials. This minimizes supply risk to our customers. If you want to hear more stories about how we take quality personally and seriously, check out the videos below. And join us next time for another episode of Behind the Science on Location.